I'm Anil Kumar and here is a practice question for you. You need to write equation in standard form from the given graph. So we have a parabola here which has vertex at minus at 1 minus 3 and we have y-intercept at minus 2. Using these two points I'd like you to write down the equation of this parabola in standard form. Here is my solution. Now equation in standard form will be of the form y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Parabola means a quadratic equation. Now since we are given the vertex and y intercept we can always get the equation in vertex form. So we'll first write down the equation in vertex form which will be y equals to a times x minus p whole square plus q where p and q are the points of the vertex and to find a we'll utilize the y intercept right so we can write down this equation with the given values p and q values are 1 is for p and q is minus 3 so let us first write in p and q x minus 1 whole square plus q means q is minus 3 so we'll get value of minus 3 here right now to find the value of a what we should do we will place this point minus 2 the y intercept which is really x value of 0 and y value of minus 2 in our equation to find a. Now substituting minus 2 for y we get minus 2 equals to a times 0 minus 1 whole square minus 3. So that gives us we'll bring 3 on this side so it is minus 2 plus 3 is equal to minus 1 square is plus 1 is equal to a right and therefore we get the value of a as 1. Now we know what a is, a is 1 for us, so we can write down this equation which is y equals to, I am substituting 1, no need to write that, 1 times x minus 1 whole square minus 3. So this is the equation in vertex form. You need to expand this and write the equation in standard form. So let us expand x square minus 2x plus 1 minus 3 right combining the constants we get our equation which is x square minus 2x and 1 minus 3 gives us minus 2 so that is the required equation in standard form I hope you understand the steps the steps are in such a situation where you know the vertex and the y-intercept start with the quadratic equation in vertex form since you know the vertex find all the parameters especially a using the y-intercept once you get the equation in vertex form expand and write the equation in standard form so that should quickly give you the answer I hope is clear thank you and all the best